I have been a 3D artist for a while now. I've met some amazing people and I've made a couple dollars while doing so. But the main thing I've learned over the past couple of years while doing 3D art is that achieving realism kind of comes down to three things. Modeling, texturing, and then you have lighting and rendering. And today I want to talk about the third one, which is of course lighting. And I actually want to show you a really useful trick I found that has truly drastically impacted the way I render my 3D scenes. This trick is what we refer to as using a light gobo. And if you don't know what that is, I think a good way of explaining it is if you picture some type of noir detective scene. I made a render like this a while back. I feel like a very iconic kind of look is having those window shades projected onto somebody's face. And the way this effect is created is actually by taking a light and then putting up a little kind of cardboard cutout right next to it. And that is called a gobo. It blocks out light in certain places and lets light in in others. And if you can Combine them together, it can create this really, really cool effect. Now, this doesn't just apply to some type of stylized noir uh, film setting. This also has very real, everyday uses. For example, tree leaves. I see a lot of examples of these as kind of like shadows on certain types of objects, and while it is hard to describe, I feel like it really just kind of bumps the quality up a notch. Either way, I'm going to show you how to do this inside of Blender. The first way is just to add in a light and put that above your subject. Then you can go online and search around for some type of gobo light texture. These I found are unusually hard to find online, but when you do find one, it can be very useful. What I recommend you do is download it to your computer and then use the import images as planes add-on for Blender. Once this is done, go into the material properties, delete the principled BSDF, and replace it with a transparent and a diffuse texture. Set that diffuse texture to black with a solid one roughness, and then go ahead and mix them together. Finally, take the image we've just created and plug that in to the factor. This is basically creating that same cardboard cutout I talked about earlier. Of course, this is very hard to use when you go into Eevee, so I'd recommend that you stay in cycles. However, there are still a lot of other problems, for example, the uh, quality of the texture, where you're going to find it, if it's copyrighted or not, you know, a whole plethora of things to deal with that come afterwards. And so, that's when the second option comes into play. See, there's something you can download on Gumroad called the Gobo Light Stencils Trees and Leaf Pack Volume 1, and when you download this, all you have to do is open up Blender, go into Preferences, and under File Paths, if you click this plus button, you can open up the file we've just downloaded, name it something like Light Gobos, and now I'm going to drag open a new tab here in my Blender workspace, and if I switch that over to the Asset Library, I can now just drag and drop in tons of these very high quality Gobo light textures ready to be used in my 3D scene. These don't require any type of plane setup or any of that, they've actually been customized into spotlights inside of Blender, so they're really easy to use. Either way, if you want to check this out, I'll put the link to it in the description. You can buy it if you want, I think it's something like 10 bucks, and I will be completely transparent with you, I do receive a small portion of that money, so if you do decide to purchase it, it would help me out tremendously. With all of that being said, I really do hope you've learned something in this video, and if you get some cool results from this, be sure to post them in our Discord server down below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.